pipe bomb. We'll also be using a hand grenade. And the deck cord's gonna travel over to here. And what it's gonna do, it's wrapped around the TNT charge. So we're gonna get two charges with one cap. This part two of our explosions extravaganza is made possible by our friends over at Taser. This Taser Pulse is the same thing that law enforcement uses. It has a 15 foot range, a light and a laser, and you can incapacitate a bad guy for up to 30 seconds. I was able to take one of the very first training courses offered by Taser when they released these on the market, and I gotta say, I was just downright impressed with the technology behind it. It's got reloadable cartridges and all that good stuff. Check it out down below. Have some less lethal options in your tactical toolbox. Now let's blow some stuff up with Ordnance Lab. This is the one we hit with a frag earlier. Yeah, so what we did is we used a frag to break up the ground a little bit. This ground is just so hard mm -hmm. that it's difficult to dig down underneath it. I spent a good deal of effort. My, my back still feels by digging this stuff out with a pick and a shovel. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Ready Prime. What it is, it's from um, Austin Powder, and it's kind of a dynamite equivalent. It's an emulsion-based explosive. We'll punch huh. a hole in it here. And show you it. what it does. So it's a kind of a putty thing, if you can see that in there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick the blasting cap in that hole I just made for, ah, with a ball dropping it. Of course, while we're filming, I don't look cool on the internet. Oh, come on. So how comparative is this to C4? Uh, this right here is a putty? lower detonation velocity, but it's much uh, less expensive. I can't remember the okay. detonation velocity on this, but it's pretty much equivalent to dynamite, and it has much more of a pushing effect than a shattering effect. We'll see with the TNT. Um, well, I don't know if we're going to see the results. We're not really in the situation where it's going to show there's going to be a huge difference in performance, but um, this right here is better for like earth moving and for what we're using it for. This is the perfect thing to use. Another one would be like Anfo or whatever, which is a, um, similar to a Monol. We're using okay. that ammonium nitrate and it's just a slower velocity of detonation. So we'll put this in here and we'll pack some other explosives around it. Yeah, that looks like a pile of we'll fun See right what happens. There. That right there is 0. 0.42 pounds. So there are a little bit less than half a pound okay. a piece. We'll pack some stuff around in there. And the goal with it is going to be pushing it out here and Sweet. hopefully getting underneath it and knocking the tree out that way. Nice. Well, literally knocking the tree out that way. <laughs> Another one right here. How about the deck cord for? Oh, uh, just in case we need to link them together. Okay. But these right here, they'll be close enough together that um, one detonation will set them off. And then we're going to cover it up with dirt to uh, pack it in there and get more of an effect because it'll take the path of least resistance. Right. If you don't pack the dirt in there, just then most of your force is gonna go out. Cool. So that right there is six charges. So that give us a um, little bit under uh, uh, three pounds. Actually, haha, let's do seven. <laughs> It'll make all the difference. The Mark I boot here to tamp it down. Now we're gonna wanna pull back further just because this is right here is gonna send rocks and stuff up. Okay. Luckily, we're like it's mostly dust, but still, like fly rock is a concern. Fire in the hole. <laughs> you got stuff everywhere. That's a great crater. That's crazy. So it worked. You can see some of the charring from the blast. Uh -huh. Something with the pipe bomb. Yeah. So that really blew it out. That was um, only three pounds of of it. And it blew the uh, the tree all the way up there. Like that's pretty impressive. And sometimes I, I impress myself with how powerful this stuff can be when properly applied. That was perfect. And yeah, we got up underneath it, so it blasted it out. All these roots right here are toast. Like this tree is donezo. So we'll um, come back later on with a tractor and pull all this stuff out and burn it. But we've definitely eliminated some trees and now it's time to move on to some bigger charges. Awesome. So what we have right here is a TNT charge. This is actually a seismic charge. Um, we picked okay. them up when they were expired from a lot of the uh, 
seismic companies and whatnot, they sure. can only use it for the till the expiration date, but it's TNT, uh -huh. like it never goes bad. You could let this thing sit forever. So we're able to pick these up at a discount sometimes cool. from manufacturers. And which is pretty cool. You can actually screw them all together, make a really long one if you want to do it, like stick it down in the ground. But we're going to be using this right here for, I guess, an off-label application, you could call it. We're just going to be using it to get this tree out. This right here is uh, one kilogram for, as Jake would say, but for Americans, it's 2.2 pounds of TNT and is a, a very uh, powerful charge. And the noise is going to be different. Like the Ready Prime and that went off, that one really wasn't that loud. It didn't have like a thump. But the TNT, you may be able to feel it. It's got a higher detonation velocity. Okay. And it's, so it performs differently and it's louder. So we're going to want to make sure we bury it pretty good so we don't disturb the neighbors. But we'll take our blasting cap right here, stick it down here in the well and tape it off. Then we'll totally. put this down in there, cover it up with dirt and see how this does for getting that tree out of there. But it's going to be, it has less explosives than we had for the Ready Prime, but it's going to be a little bit more powerful than the Ready Prime. So we'll see if it actually kicks the door out, or I'm sorry, kicks the tree out on its own. That's a good sized tree too. Yeah. This will be fun. Yeah, this will be interesting to see what happens. And again, a lot of the stuff with the trees is that it's not a science necessarily because like you've got different types of soil, different oh, types sure. of way that it's built in there. And a lot of times you just kind of got to estimate what you're going to use for getting it out. So we'll put it in here. Fill it in, tamp it down, yep, blow we'll it up. Yep, tamp it down and rig it up if we tamp it down and set it off. Sweet. We had great success <laughs> with the Ready Prime. Now we're on TNT charging. Send that tree into the pond. Firing. <laughs> Gotta get my camera. I did feel a thump that time. Yeah, that That's was a... cool. You got that whole smoke. Nice. Yeah, TNT is good stuff. Did y'all see anything fall? I was too much in the sky. Oh, uh, we'll see. We have destruction. The, the, oh, that's cool. Sing, I mean, single blew that whole it up. that whole half. So, because the charge was here, so it. So that's a crater, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, well, I mean, it went off. We still got a little bit of it in here, so it didn't quite kill it off yet. And these we sash trees are like they can survive all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna want to hit it again with another charge, um, but we'll come back to this one later on but you can definitely see the power of the TNT. And that was just one of those um, oh, right. charges. It wasn't like we put a whole bunch of them in there. So you can really see that power of the TNT. So what we're gonna do now is we'll go ahead and we'll show um, where you can use deck cord to set off two charges with one cap. Okay. The five charges of the Ready Prime in there. So that's gonna be about uh, 2.5 pounds or so. And oh, what we've used, we've got a cap in one of them and the other one has the deck cord wrapped around it. What's gonna happen is that whenever the Ready Prime goes off, it's also going to initiate the uh, uh, deck cord, and the deck cord is going to travel over to here. And what it's going to do, it's wrapped around the TNT charge. So we're going to get two charges with one cap. And this is one of the good uses for deck cord, one of the frequent uses. Like I said before, you could use it as an explosive in and of itself for like breaching or whatever. And you can also use the link charges like this. So it's a Sweet. really useful thing to have and um, especially like here where we don't want to burn up a bunch of caps and we can do multiple shots with one cap so awesome all right let's make a bang like Cali never dog. takes a dump yeah <laughs> so they said this will have a huge cloud so this will be fun to watch this is the ready sticks on the left and the tnt on the right chain linked with the daisy with a deck cord charged and firing the hole
That got broke. <laughs> Wait, so where? Okay, so this is our ready stick one. Yeah, this is the ready prom. It blew it up. It's just dangling in there. Now, yeah. I don't, I don't remember this being here in that our way. Must what have the? fallen. Oh, you know what? It kicked out something. Yeah. There's a branch that came down. Let me see if I pull that. That's like a, that's a whole tree. What in the world? That's where like. Oh, it blew the, it blew it from here. Yeah. That's, That's where, neat. Like, a lot of the stuff's unpredictable. What's going to happen? There it goes. There we go. Ah, oh, you stronger than me. More? Or just pull it out of the waist and get in there. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. You got that? Uh, oh. Yeah, it'll launch. Shall I? We saved the charge. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what we got right here is gonna be our denouement, to use French word, or is that correct? Is that close enough. Yeah, close enough for Texas. And what we have is we've got the cap running down here into the charge, and then it's tied off with some deck cord. And what'll happen is that whenever that detonates, the deck cord was gonna go down through here and is gonna lead to our other charges. Wrap the deck cord around these little trees right here as a little bonus basically to see what would happen um, with them. What's gonna happen is the explosive impulse is gonna come down the line and then it's gonna set it off here and send the charge over to that one over there. I'll ch we'll check that out here in a minute. And then the other charge is right here with a TNT booster down in there. So we've got this buried down in there and we'll tamp some dirt over that and bury it. And then our final one here, well, they're all gonna go off at once, but what we've got is the, the Gemini explosives on its own right here. We wrapped it up with some rolls of deck cord here to get it to go off. And the goal with that is to blast out this last little bit of tree that we hit with the pipe bomb earlier. So we'll see how it goes and make sure we get everything buried in, but it should make a nice little bang. What's neat learning about it is just the deck cord. We're they literally just tie the knot in the deck cord over there and just yeah and it just spreads yep. just just by splicing it together wrapping it around wrapping it around this there's nothing to poke into it's just it's just wrapped it's yeah neat. you got to make sure that actually when you're combining them that you tie them off like you can use like tape if you tape it along but what happens is um if you have like a junction especially if you have it where like the impulse is coming this way it'll throw off the cap sometimes or sorry throw off the other cord mm -hmm. so um tying them off is best the uh, best way to do it, make sure you get a firm connection and all the charges go off whenever you set them off. Pretty cool. So, yep, this will be a big bang. Let's push the button. Yep. All right, so we have ready stick, we have TNT, we have debt cord run out there, and we have uh, a liquid explosive as well. Here we go. Fire in the hole. There's junk everywhere, and I see trees. <laughs> I saw trees fly up in the air and back down. <laughs> that actually wasn't too loud. That was, it was deep though. I like yeah. that. Everything was buried pretty well though. Yeah. The interesting thing is after this is like, wait, which tree was wired yeah. where? Because I'm like, what's where? They're, <laughs> we have trees way over there on the ground, but they started off here. And I know this was bigger than this one little scraggly bush. 
That took her jump. That's a big chunk of tree to jump that far. Oh yeah. And then we have stuff way over here. So I that, think that yeah, that, that jumped about was, 15 feet. Yeah. Now that is an impressive charge. Yeah, what was there? <laughs> I think it was that. So this tree was here. Or they all crossed. Who knows? Yeah. So anyways, that Kevin, was awesome. Uh, so you can see right in here how this just cleared out. Like there's some root left in here. Um, gloves. Nothing that'll produce. Yeah. There's still stuff in here that... One of the things with explosives, it's good for getting like most of the roots out, but it's not going to give you like a totally flat pasture you can drive across. You'll still get um, random crap down in here. It got it out all the way. That was very impressive. And when you can see in the, uh, like it sent stuff everywhere. Yes. And that's why we, we were that far back because um, it will send all kinds of crap flying out of the sky. So definitely very effective. I think that we can say that explosives are more effective than machine guns for taking out trees. Well, guys, that was a lot of fun. Sean, yeah. thanks for having me out and oh, introducing me to the a ordinance lab. A literal blast. <laughs> yeah, Coming out service. here, party in ordinance lab style. We wiped out the trees. We burned up, um, what, about 10 pounds of explosives to do that. And again, explosives are great for taking down trees, provided you understand what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. That, hey, it's not necessarily um, that efficient and it gets expensive quickly, but it's good for places where like you can't get heavy equipment in and you can blast trees out using that. But like if you can get in there with like a uh, machinery or something like that, that's going to be more efficient, but not as much fun to go out there. I was and just going to say, not as much, out. not as yeah. entertaining, that's for sure. Yeah. But it took us what we started about eight o'clock this morning yep. and it's 11 right now so it took a couple of hours because you can't just go in there and you got to dig stuff up you have to get ready to go it's not just go throw explosives boom come back yep. throw more explosives on and do it so it takes a lot of time and you have to have a lot of positive control of the area that you're operating in but hopefully again your viewers enjoyed uh seeing some booms and whatnot you'll be doing some more booms out here right. um, having some more fun and we'll be following this up now we're going to move on to Filming some ordnance lab stuff where we're going to be doing some Mythbusters type things where we're going to see if you can actually use deck cord to clear out a, um, uh, well, a simulated LZ. That's right. So the links will be below, so go check out their channel as well. Thanks for coming by today. Yeah, guys. we'll see y'all soon. Okay, I love you. Bye bye.